My name is Kelly Pennington, and I teach digital photography at Portland Community College Cascade Campus. Portland Community College has an amazing photography department. We have multiple campuses that teach photography, but at the Cascade campus in particular, we work within the multimedia labs, so we have access to the latest and greatest technology. The way that I've created my course is that I have a project, three different projects that I roll out throughout the term. The first project is really meant to help students learn how to control their camera settings and really understand how there's a difference between the way that they perceive the world and the camera perceives the world. The second project I give is asking them to copycat an artist. I ask them to copycat an artist because I want them to select someone that they admire and I want them to break down the way that that artist actually shot their imagery so that we can realize that while we put people up on pedestals because we idealize the images that they've made, it's also not very hard to make imagery that you admire. The final project I give is a body of work. The imagery that I'm most impressed with out of my students comes from that final project. You know, you have a reason for being here. You came to photography because you have an interest in it. I've taught you how to use your camera. I've asked you to take on these other challenges. Now is your time to really investigate something that interests you. The reason I choose to review and critique student work in a group setting is because the photograph is about a visual language. In particular, is on a person-by-person -person basis. Everyone brings their own nostalgia and their own life history to an image. They have a personal connection to the image, and they might have a baggage or affinity for an image that a viewer does not bring to the image and thereby cannot recognize what the intended input or statement of the image is. So when we review in a group setting, we're actually giving everyone the ability to explain how they're reading that image and what that image is saying to them. Personally, I hope that in the end, the student walks away from the critique feeling better about their overall understanding of photography, but also realizing that as an artist, in the end, you're making an image to express yourself and to make yourself happy. Whether or not your original intent of the image is conveyed to the viewer is something that they'll learn through the process of the critique, and then they can learn how to refine and hone in their skills so that they can actually create a well thought out statement or express a situation of the 3D world in a 2D image, which is sometimes tricky. Focus Design actually came out of my interest in finding a platform for which we could showcase PCC student work. Creating a concise body of imagery, playing around with layout, how does one image speak to another image across the spread, and then also how then do you transition from one spread to the next. I did a call for students to help be editors, and we put a call out for imagery, and just edited down based on composition, clarity, all of the things that you should look for in trying to find the best image, and then we started to marry the images together and create a layout. My interest in photography and my passion for photography comes from perception and perspective by means of the camera as a tool, we can help people understand how to really perceive and react to situations in their lives. Once you put a camera in someone's hands, they start to look for things. They start to look for beauty. They start to look for joy. They start to look for things that are grotesque or uh, abominations that are happening that they can say, hey, look here, this shouldn't be happening. I want to change this. And so you're really empowering people to see things, to perceive things, and to share either for the better or worse the way that they perceive the world.